In today's project, we are going to build a regulated variable power supply using the LM317IC with an output range of 1.2 volt to 30 volt. This project is perfect for anyone looking to power or test different electronics projects with a stable voltage supply. We will take you step by step through the circuit and show you how to assemble it on a PCB for a clean and durable design. Whether you are a beginner or a DIY enthusiast, this power supply circuit will be a valuable tool in your electronics toolkit. Let's get started. First, gather all the components listed on the screen. Once you have everything, carefully place and fix each component onto the PCB. The LM317 is an adjustable voltage regulator IC that can provide output voltages from 1.2 volt to 37 volt with a current up to 1 amp. It's ideal for creating variable power supplies. The AC voltage is transformed to DC through the bridge rectifier diodes and then smoothed by capacitors. The LM317 takes this DC voltage and, with the help of resistor R1 and the potentiometer VR1, regulates it to a desired level. Adjusting VR1 changes the resistance, which in turn adjusts the output voltage. The output voltage range is 1.2 to 30 volt, making this circuit useful for testing or powering various electronics projects. Now that all components are fixed, and soldered onto the PCB, use a cutter to trim any excess component leads. Do you want detailed, step-by-step -step instructions to build this variable power supply? We've got you covered. The full project is available in a PDF file also, complete with the circuit diagram and PCB images. Just leave a comment saying provide PDF file and I'll reply with a link to download the PDF. Our LM317-based variable power supply is now complete and ready for testing. Connect approximately 30 volt AC to the circuit input, then adjust VR1 to set the output to your desired voltage level. Let's start by connecting it to a load. First, we'll test it with a 12 volt, 10 watt DC fan to see how it performs. The connected load should not draw more than one ampere of current, otherwise, the LM317 IC may overheat or even get damaged. To prevent this, it's essential to attach a proper heatsink to the LM317 for safe and reliable operation. When using a bulb or motors as the load, ensure it doesn't draw more than one amp of current, as this could cause the LM317 to overheat or potentially fail. A suitable heat sink is highly recommended for safe operation.
Now, two fans are connected in series, with a combined current draw of approximately 1 amp. Thanks for following along with our LM317 Variable Power Supply Project. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want more DIY electronics projects, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos and join our growing community of tech enthusiasts.